Welcome to an unboxing. It's been a while. It has um, been a while. I don't even really remember the last one. Do you? The EOSR. Oh, how could I forget? R for Rosemary. How could I forget R for Rosemary? <laughs> but this time we are here. Oh, no. <laughs> Why, why that? For me. Okay, R for Rosemary. So today we are here with the uh, Novation Launchpad X. So this is something a little bit different. Um, we have been doing some musical things and... Lots of music. Lots we were of musical things. We were looking at a way for me in particular to figure out how to perform electronic music and it looks like maybe this is the first step. Mm-hmm. Because he does a lot of um, production streams right now on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv slash Studio. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and like, just like does the production of like putting the song together. But we were like, well, how can you, yeah, shout out from, from Cat Stitch. Um, <laughs> oh, Cat Stitch. <laughs> um, but we were trying to figure out like how he could actually perform some of his songs if he wanted to, or like just have like a more dynamic way of putting his songs together because mm -hmm. we have the little keyboards right now yeah we got little midi keyboards that are like 25 keys or whatever the standard is for that size yeah the little ones mm -hmm. and it has some like buttons but i feel like this is yeah so the, the launchpad x has 64 pads uh they're all pressure sensitive so i think that's a kind of a important thing is that you can capture like kind of minute differences in the way that the buttons are pushed so things sound a little bit more organic mm -hmm. um and one of the cool things with this is the i didn't realize it because like we've looked at stuff like the push and stuff like that before and i'm just like what is this i don't understand but um i guess now that like we've well for at least me you know ableton a lot better than i do like understanding that the, the colors on here actually match the tracks in Ableton and I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that yeah. makes so much more sense. <laughs> yeah, so, so it's got like an RGB kind of backlit thing. So yeah, we'll match your A Ableton track colors. Yeah, and this is a lot more affordable for somebody more like entry level um, than the push. Yeah, we were looking at the price of the push and it was like seven ninety nine ninety nine dollars and this was like a fraction of the price. Yeah. We just, we paid one ninety nine for it, and then we just looked at the price before this video, and it was one sixty nine minus ten percent, which was like one fifty nine. So. Yep. Forty dollar difference uh, if we waited two weeks, but uh, yeah. according to Amazon, they don't price match. So. So you know. Thanks. But thanks, Jeff Bezos. Yeah. So I guess if you are looking to get one of these, check the price <laughs> for the next thirty days and just see. <laughs> before you make the purchase because they do not price match their own prices yeah so awesome cool anyways shall we dig in all right let's see what we got here uh, we gotta turn it around very exciting what do we have here all right Ooh. Ooh, there's like a little instruction thing in the front here We'll turn it around so they could see. Yeah, I want to just take this out first. So it's got a little thing inside the box cover. Three easy steps, I think. I didn't really count. But <laughs> e either way, yeah. A couple, or actually like two steps. Connect it to your Mac or PC, and then open it should, your uh, folder. <laughs> should pop up a folder, and then you just click it, and it says open this folder. Yeah, the nice thing with this is that it has integration automatically with um, Ableton. So it's like specifically made for Ableton yeah. stuff. Yeah, I'm sure it can be used for other DAWs as well, but don't quote me on it because I don't know. But it seems like something that could be used, but this is definitely designed for Ableton. I will say that it is a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> It is like really thin. Yeah, I thought it was a, a thick boy, but it's not. Yeah, so I can say right now that I really do like the design. It feels really like solid. Yeah. Like it's not like... It's got like a rubber grip thing on the back too. Yeah. So it won't like slip it won't and slide. slip and slide. Like it doesn't feel like cheap plastic. Like you know how when you can push on it, it has like give. 
<laughs> <laughs> and I, another thing I just noticed too is that it has textures on this some of the buttons. So you won't be able to see it on camera, but the button here, the button here, the button here, what? and the button here have like a little texture on it. So it, it's kind of like a keyboard where it where? kind of lets you know where the home keys are. So each corner. Oh. Yeah, it's got like a little like bevel or something. Yeah. So, it, so then you can kind of like. Yeah, you, eventually you'll probably get like muscle memory and kind of just know where you are. Yeah. So yeah, it looks like it comes with the USB cable here. So no external power, just powered by your computer. That's also nice to not have to so, worry about like a battery or, or another power source or something. So yeah, so the USB looks like it goes on the top here. And then it also has a, a lock, so if you get like a desktop lock or something like that, you can lock it down. Mm. So I guess one of the biggest things about this one is that they're all um, pads. There's no knobs for like um, faders or anything like that. But you can do mixer type things with it as well, and you just kind of use these as like the levels. Yeah, there's like a mixer mode, I guess, on it. Mm -hmm. And then it also has uh, like a drum pad mode, right? Yeah, so you can use it um, as like a drum pad. You can even use it like to kind of play like keys. It's got like a musical kind of setting too. Mm -hmm. um, one of the cool features is this button right here. This is a capture MIDI button. So what that does is it has like its own little buffer of memory so even if you're not recording in Ableton it's gonna capture what you're pressing so if you accidentally stumble across like something that sounds really good and you weren't recording you can press this button and it will send it to a new track and print it all out in Ableton so that's, that's pretty cool that's actually really sweet <laughs> yeah, that's pretty helpful sometimes you don't necessarily like you're just like messing around and then you're like oh that sounded good what did i just do <laughs> yeah that's me on the keyboards like all the time so i think it'll be helpful i think so too it's, it's exciting it's a little intimidating it but it's, i think it's exciting to to try it out and we didn't want to go like full force like let's get a push or whatever yeah. or a push two or whatever because we don't know if we're gonna like it yeah. I mean, if it's something that actually ends up working, like, depending on how it works and stuff like that, maybe that pushes something that we look into down the line, but it's a good right now, I don't, -y I don't thing. think that's something I'd really need. But who knows? Like, I, I think maybe when we start to dig into it, we'll get a better understanding of what works and what doesn't. Mm -hmm. um, the other interesting thing is, too, is um, I do a lot of work in the, what is it called? The arrangement view and this kind of relies on the session view so it's gonna kind of get me used to the other half of Ableton so yeah change your workflow a little bit maybe. yeah so maybe it'll help me come up with some different ideas or just figure out how to start things a little differently than I do now yeah I think it's a fun challenge cool stuff very exciting it is very exciting but yeah this is mostly for Brandon. I'll probably dabble in it, too. I kind of tricked him. Yeah, she was like, I want to get this. Because I'm like, I, she always asks, like, what do you want? What do you want? I'm like, I don't need anything. I'm not really a, like, I don't know. There's, when I think of, like, what I need, I'm like, I'm set. I don't really need anything. And she's like, oh, I want to get this for myself. And then it gets here. She's like, this is for you. <laughs> I'm like, okay, okay. But I do say, but I will say, I love it. I'm I glad. Love it. I feel like he just doesn't want to, like, give in to, like, trying new things, and it's just like, I don't need anything, but I'm like, I feel like if you had it, and you tried it, you'd probably like it. I think for us, like, we've w tried to watch videos on, like, the push and stuff like that, and it just does not compute. <laughs> yeah, I think the thing is, is that we're both, like, very hands-on when yeah. it comes to learning, so... Like, watching something gives, like, a semi-idea of how it works, but, like, we won't really fully understand until we kind of dive in for ourselves. Yeah, like, <laughs> we learn by doing, so I was like, I'm just going to get it. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, so. Here it is. Early birthday present. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so lovely. So, yeah, I think it'll be fun. I'm, I'm excited to hear, like, 
what comes out of you using this? I don't know. I have no idea. I I, I don't know. Very exciting. <laughs> I have no clue. Pretty cool. But we shall see. Only time will tell. Yeah. So after he plays around with it for a little bit. Yeah, maybe I can do a follow-up video and kind of give more of a, a review -y kind of side of it. Because yeah. right now, I haven't touched it, so. Yeah. It's brand spanking new. Brand new. $40 overpriced. <laughs> That's all right. It's fine. So. No big deal. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah. More music to come. Lots of it. Um, check out Trilobite, T-R-Y-L-O-W-B-Y-T-E, on um, all of the music -y platforms. Mm -hmm. Oh, I actually just got approved to have my songs on Pandora. They have like a manual approval process, so it took a little bit longer, but they are on there now too. Yeah, he's releasing some bumping beats. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> we were listening to his songs in the car the other day, and I was like, this is so cool, I love it. Yeah, it's weird listening I'm in like real life settings, because I'm just like always like at my like computer setup. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but people do say you're supposed to try to like get out there and listen to it before you release it, but. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty spiffy. I like it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for coming by and checking out our unboxing of the Novation Launchpad X, and we will see you in the next video. Yes, and just remember, you don't need water to make waves. <sighs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for coming by and watching our short, quick unboxing. Wait, that was stupid. <laughs> oh no, here we go. <laughs> Son of a bitch. We got this. Okay, we got this right now. <laughs> Why did you clap too? It's the same time. It's a double clap. <laughs> it was like literally at the same time. That was so weird. <laughs> I've been fine to finish this video. Now, now it's done. We're off the rails now. It's over. It's over. It's a wrap. Don't make me cry. Don't make me cry. Okay.